Um, I want to share to you guys because I want you to know what your support has done. Things are not the same. I still went out a year ago. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Take on up to the Turtle Greenhouse. I've changed for the better. Oh man, up until now we've had a unhooked this. Unannounced. I this is the reason for coming in. I'm and you right. believe also and for this whole section used to be just a $2.50. So what we got done was uh, we brought in two more, change, two other tables. I recently pulled up a video that was made in November and I hope you guys can appreciate how much we have grown. Sorry, November 2020. It was, it was just after the land locking situation and so um, I want to share to you guys because I want you to know what your support has done to help us grow. So I believe also this whole section used to be just a $2.50 succulent section. Um, and then oh, I think in November 2020, it was one of the first times that we had um, bought and whole trays and we had our carnivorous plants up here. Uh, these tables, I think it might have ended here and we had like our 350 section maybe here or something like that. I don't know, I'll have to go back and look. but. And then here we just had this little tiny table of miscellaneous. Of course the shelf wasn't here. None of this was here. Village dungeon tables are so new, so um, I think we just would line some few plants up right here. And I remember in the video, we still have the same Hoyas that we had from three years ago. We've never bought another princess, queen, splash or rope I mean we've been given a few by our supporters but um, these are the same plants I had from three years ago and what's funny I haven't really grown too much um, this one's beautiful though pretty proud of it so a lot of this has been based on donations from you guys who love and support us so much don't look at my trash tables full of garbage I just got to clean up so bad our good friend Lois donated this orchid uh, art installation piece. Um, of course the lighting is very bad, but it's uh, two pieces of driftwood intertwined uh, with two different orchids, air plants, and succulents on it. It's things like this that helps us uh, connect with other people and raise money. It's a true art piece. She bought it at a uh, one of the local art shows. It was a very recent art show and um, she was wanting to support the artist who created it. And then I think she might have just drove it directly here. That way she's supporting two things that she's passionate about. Animal uh, care, what me and Ken do, and the artist and uh, you know who sees this and can put it together in such a dramatic and artistic way. I'm gonna link to the artist uh, right here so you can follow him on Instagram. I'll take you on up to the turtle greenhouse and show you what Ken's been working on trying to improve the life of the critters but really it will improve our lives because the time that we're going to save and everything but it's surprising me how hot the greenhouse is once it's wrapped in plastic and has 3,000, 4,000 gallons of water. Oh, Ken spent the last couple of days, uh, hold on, shows you how warm it is in here. Ken spent the last couple of days putting on smaller drip lines so he can run um, a slower amount of water in the mornings when it's really cold. It's not cold in here now. Turtles are loving it. Uh, there's Turdly. And Bullets group. And, and so he's got the Misters. 
and drip lines. So that was pretty productive. Uh, something else we got done was uh, we brought in three more, the two other tables. So we'll have a place for babies to sit. We just still have to move this water land tub so that way he can lay the rest of the weed barrier mat down. Easy knob. Up until now we've been unhooking and hooking that, but it doesn't look like we're going to have to anymore. Be nice. Oh, and then we got one. Oh man, up until now we've had to unhook this and move it to that. Oh wow, that was nice. Nice. I also finally put more dirt in front of the nursery where there was a washout. Nice. It's going to help us out a lot this year and it's going to help the critters, the turtles all stay warm and all of our plants stay healthy. But the water's running. Uh, but last year we had to replace our pumps so this year it shouldn't make a big difference. They like it. A petunia there, which I mean. Took dirt from our bog area where the water from the turtles all comes out here. So you got dirt taken out from there. That's how he filled up the little washout where the rain was coming off the gutter, washing the sand out. Uh, he also came in and put a fresh load of dirt in the critter's uh, winter barn. So we have red feet tortoises, we have yellowfoot, we have our smaller tortoises, and hairy. That's why we separate them, because they can be angry. And we can continue all the way around. Be nice, we're able to keep all these tortoises warm with just one use of a, uh, a water-filled furnace. And it's taken us a couple of years to get it perfect. Ken came in this week and added the barriers so the larger tortoises can't climb out and they can rip our insulation. Not that easy to house big tortoises. Not that fun either. Uh, now we got a big scrap pile to pick up. Hoping to get to changing this out because we've had to put all these little containers here because the emus, they get up on the porch and uh, play with our shoes and then poop in them on a regular basis. And I don't know, I got stuff to do, so we'll see if we get to it. I sort of just do what I can each day. And sometimes I run out of time, and sometimes I don't. Little cute little boogers. I don't know, those two are kind of looking like boys. I guess we'll go down and look at some plants. Feels really good getting some more stalls in the winter barn, but officially we don't even have an empty stall, so... I don't know, we have to really think about something. That way we can have some more space. I think that if we were to do individual houses in each enclosure next year, then, uh, well, we'd have lots of empty stalls, of course, but like, let's just say we built a winter um, house inside the red foot enclosure. The red feet and the yellow feet can just go in by them. It would save us time, so we might have more uh, Time for working in the food forest. The Terps cat's hibiscus is off the chain. Uh, the cranberry hibiscus is full of blooms too. Oh, we have two racks of bananas on our dwarf cabin dish. Uh, this one here is gonna be ripe, and this one here is brand new. One thing I did get to do was our sponsor Atkins Tree Service dropped off a pile of native mulch. And we placed it in our new food forest. This is like number four, I think, food forest number four, where we're doing gingers and chaya and three different spinaches, longevity, Okinawan, and Egyptian. Longevity spinach is thanks to our friend Lois. 
Longevity is to our friend Heidi. And Egyptian is to Melissa at Mama G's farm. So I'm all done with this whole row and I just got this little bit to do, but I was waiting to... I had to change the birds for the day so that way I had that newspaper to put down for a natural leaf area. While we're in here, I'm pretty happy with the, the winter housing for the birds. Billy, our Indian ringneck. We have Pinky, our Golfin's cockatoo. Can you say hi, Pinky? We have Poppy, our uh, blue faced Amazon. She doesn't love me. She might just come out to tell me. We have Rambo, our Harlequin McCall. Can you say hi, Rambo? Sammy, our featherless but getting feathers, blue and gold. Hunter, everybody knows from the Dave Kaufman videos, who's been a little stubborn. We have Bird, Quaker Bird, who did come completely featherless. Talking about a walking chicken leg, he looked like, but uh, uh, he bites, so we're not gonna mess with him. Not that I'm scared of him, but it doesn't feel very good when he bites. You gonna come say hi? Hi. Come on, say hi. Beautiful minor bird. And our newest adoptions are Emerald and Diamond. Whose family drove them up. I think they might have made a two hour drive to get here. Well, this doesn't include Jojo the crow or um, Bree Bree the pineapple cheek conure. Um, so far for this winter, this is the first time that we've ever had all the birds in one room where we're not bringing everybody indoor and outdoor all winter long. We're pretty glad not to have all the seed and the dander in our house too for the first time in about four years. And it's a bright room, it's got glass front doors, and we have a cage out in the sun so we can have a bird outside each and every day. Gotta get to the plant stock video because I have some more pressure washing to do. Just got all that pressure washed. It's just winter tubs and you know, we have to change them out and sterilize. So, you know, there was like, I think a monitor was housed in that. And now that it's cold, we refresh the bedding and clean it out and give them some disease prevention. Donated piece um, to be talked about in a later video. We've got some chickens down here for sale. This is the fence that I think I'm gonna reuse for our emu issue, so let's hope I get to it. Oh, I got a game pair, a nice beautiful rooster and a hen, and I have a Rhode Island red rooster for sale. Uh, 20 bucks each, the pair's gotta stay as a pair, and the rooster, well, he's gotta stay as a rooster. Our son is coming home from work, and we'll get to some plant stock. Started pressure wash right here, I pressure washed the the shade cloth because it was all green and algae fried you could see I don't know if you could see that but I gotta redo it tomorrow another shot but then I was like whoa that got dirty it wasn't that long ago that I had pressure washed it remember I pressure washed it and then somebody came that next day and asked to take my picture and I was like yeah it's clean I'll put that in here just in a, the date right here things get dirty so fast and just like that today's round of pressure washing is done I won't turn off the water because we sure don't use it to water our food forest. Uh, this one is new so we do kind of spit in it once in a while. This food forest we haven't watered in over two and a half years. I mean there's not even a water source out here. Not on this side, not on that side. And oh man, I'm afraid to take our trash cans down. I was going to pressure wash them. I guess tomorrow's another day. The gray area is so pretty when he opens up his wings to this female. Ken bought a couple cans of spray paint. Not cheap, eight bucks each, but then he painted our old gate that's been here for oh about 30 years and it looks brand new. He's thinking about coming after me. He can't decide if he wants to or not. Just like that, I changed out those panels of junk, all that junk, to these panels that were surrounding the chickens. Should work out pretty well to keep the emus and stuff from pooping on our shoes. I hope. Made a lot of progress in the last couple of years. Uh, since I started the video. Now hold on. 
I started the video, Ken got the water lamp tub moved. So, two guys give us down at the nursery. Darn it. See how hot it is in here? And it's like 60 degrees outside. It's literally like 80 in here. And the water lamp tub is here. Then he wants to rock in all this so that way we can flood the greenhouse and not walk in water. Well, please consider coming down to the greenhouse and buying some plants and helping us along this journey as we build the perfect right hurt haven. And you help us out. My help is needed, so I'll see you guys at the greenhouse this weekend. We're open Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. Cash only. I think I'm kidding when I say that bird is mean. Don't come in our yard unannounced, because this yard. is the repercussion. This is our god dog. This is what he's trained to do. Oh, he's got a love on him. Oh, boy. Poor Kent. I think I'm, I might need to help him. This is Kevin. You can have Kevin back. Kevin from Urban Ranch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Rescue. I got a picture. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Come on. Kevin. Take Here. Kevin home. Here. Take Kevin home. All you gotta do is show him that your wing is bigger than his wing and then he'll stop. He won't leave me Yeah, he will. Show him you're bigger. That's all. Did you put up the birds? Sometimes the emus are funner than the rias, just because they're so silly. Which would you rather have? The silly emus? Or the crazy rias? Let me know in the comments below.